Saturday morning flats him. It's not morning, you drongo. It's evening. Day, good morning, good evening, and good night. Welcome to Positive Rate, and we got a special guest, guys, today. I missed this guy for so long. Uh, Dark Fury's on today. How you doing, Dark? Yeah, hey, you're back. Yay! <laughs> Absolutely awesome. So great to have you, mate. I've, I've, I've missed you. Really missed you. Yeah, it's glad to be here. You know, work and stuff, like such. I know, I know. It's um, and everyone's struggling with it because I know uh, both you and Nick and uh, Dan now work on Saturdays. So, uh, big shout out to Jay Hockey saying good morning and uh, Kevin. Kevin, how you doing, buddy? So great to see you, the Magic Irishman from the South Republic. There, I uh, hope everything's going well your side of the world as well. Um, well, I, I did select live weather, but. I, literally within the last 10 minutes, this place is starting to fog in. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Um, um, to be honest with you, this flight plan, you need good. You need yeah, good. I know. So I think we might switch it over to a few clouds, guys. I was I was chancing at weather just hopefully to see um, if we could get away with it. But um, yeah, it looks like it's going to start fogging in. <laughs> anyway, um, great to see you. Uh, Nighthawk on the tarmac as well. Uh, thanks for coming along today, Nighthawk. And Jayhawk, Jayhawk's flying with us, hopefully for the whole thing. Uh, Nighthawk says, good morning from Ontario. Good morning, sir. Hope you're doing well. Um, there's another guy that suddenly jumped in. I don't know if he's following the stream. BEB17FR. Could just be a random. <clears throat> but if you're watching the stream, mate, uh, do uh, you pop in and uh, drop us a line in the chat. We'd love to know who, who you are, who it is. Um, so yeah, I think I might go a few clouds here. What do you think? I, I think you should just change to uh, sunny weather. Sunny weather. Clear skies. Oh yeah, look at that. It really pops when you do that. <laughs> Kevin says, I'm doing good. Uh, first time home in a few months. Been working all summer. All right. Okay, so you've been uh, you've been away from home for the summer then. It must be nice to get home though. Uh, how am I keeping myself? Um, doing okay. I was just saying to Dark uh, before the stream that um, I, my boss cornered me on Thursday and said, uh, "How many days you got left to, to take off this year?" And I said, "I, I looked at it. I thought I had less, but I have 14 days." So he goes, "Well, you better start taking them because you can't just take them at the end of the month, uh, the end of the year." I'm like, "Yeah, I know that." Um, so I said, I'll, "I'll take Friday, Monday off then." And he went, "Okay." <laughs> so I got a long weekend. That's it's great when your boss tells you to take time off. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Nighthawk says, my live weather is fine, just some very low clouds. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll play about with it. But I, I, I mean, I really want to get the most out of this uh, this tour. And 
Polynesian islands are just absolutely stunning. I mean, even just loading up. Uh, sorry, I got sirens in the background. Uh, just loading up. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Now, Dark, um, I've got to I've got to applaud you here because your flight plan is absolutely cool. And uh, if you guys haven't noticed, in the show notes, Dark has prepared this amazing uh, walkthrough of everything that we're going to see. I'm not going to read it word for word, but we'll just catch out some of the details. But it's well worth downloading. And uh, there's a link in the in the show notes for you if you want to download while you're flying with us. Uh, so we're starting in, uh, I had to look up some pronunciations for this dark too. Uh, Huahane. Look, I tried pronouncing and I can't get to work. <laughs> yeah, Huahane is uh, where we're starting, uh, which is the Maohai uh, people. Uh, just some amazing facts here too. 9th century AD is when they first uh, started uh, colonizing the areas. Uh, and they found uh, archaeological remains dating back to 850 AD, which is pretty cool. Um, he has some really, really cool little factoids in there. Um, so just to cover the flight plan today, what we're we doing, let me pull up the... So we're starting off at... Um, actually, uh, Dark, do you want to talk us through the flight plan? Uh, yeah, so the obviously we're in there around the French Polynesian Islands, Bora Bora. Yeah. Uh, the flight is roughly about 118 nautical miles. We're not okay. going to go through all the islands because there's about 121 islands altogether. Yeah, I know, I was reading well. that. That's crazy. Um, so we've got for, for quite a few islands, nice few sceneries. Um, this is mainly just a sightseeing trip, uh, not to up for airports because Bora Bora is just amazing. Uh, great tourist destination. Yep. So we'll That's go Bora around, Bora up there. So we'll fly three or four different islands. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll land at Bora Bora. And on the way, we've got the lagoon, we've got the small islands, um, and we actually pass, I think it is five or six, maybe seven small resorts that I've been on. That That's cool. Well, yeah, area. do you uh, do shout those out if we're uh, coming near them? Um, I'll, I'll try and keep it on myself. I am tempted maybe just to do a quick stop at uh, Utura, because um, that, that runway is pretty much right on the route. So we could, could just do a quick uh, deviation, just maybe a touch and go or something like that, and see what that's like. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, there is, there is some adults for the airports if you want them. I didn't put them in because I didn't, I wanted, you know, just the natural look of yeah. like Microsoft flight. No, I think uh, I think that'd be the only one I would uh, I would stop at, and then we'll just uh, kind of continue on with the tour. So, but that, that's it's really cool. Um, now the I didn't put the flight plan up, guys, because there's a Microsoft Flight Simulator seems to be choking on it a bit. Um, but if you just follow follow me, um, I'll, I'll keep you keep you right. And um, of course, I have managed to put it into the. Uh, uh, PM GTN 750 as well, so that that's fortunate. Um, but yeah, you can see the flight plans in there as well. Uh, and we're back to the trusty old Arrow today too, which is really cool. Uh, big big shout out to Just Flight, uh, very long time sponsors of uh, Positive Freight, and of course it's always great to get back into this amazing airplane. Uh, so I won't waste any more time. We'll uh, oh, back to normal ops here. If everyone wants to get... <laughs> hey, Jack. Dave! Dave, how you doing? Dave, Big Jacko's Gaming has donated, uh, what was it, a uh, one pound. <laughs> he just wants to see me dance, eh? <laughs> Dave, I was so glad you're along today. Uh, we are on Vox as well, if you're, uh, you're kicking about, mate, and you want to have a chat with us. Um, but uh, this one's for you, Dave. Thank you very much. One pan fish. Thank you. <laughs> I one pan fish. I you know I really really want that for the stream, but that's your gig, man. I can't take that away from you. But I I, I really want to get that one pound fish. Uh, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, ten pf. That's it. One pound fish. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, what a great start! Thanks, Dave. I'm so glad you uh, joined us today. Hope everything's going well, Nas. Um, <laughs> do it. Do you want me to do it? Okay. I didn't want to take. A, that's one of your calling cards, so I didn't want to take anything away from you. Um, 
Right, better get the engine started before uh, we run out of battery power here. So let's get the mixture up full. A little bit of throttle. Bring sim noises up a bit. I think we're... Seem to be good to go there. Um, yeah, uh, are you familiar with One Pound Fish Dark? <laughs> it's it's my it's what it, my absolute favorite soundbite on Dave Street, but I always play it when I go on because it's just so funny. And I looked it up, and it's an actual uh, uh, market uh, seller in uh, London that, that does it. I, I, I I'd like to think he's still around. The video itself is probably from uh, about eight nine years ago, but um, yeah, it's just uh, just one of these funny things, funny funny nuances that you see in. Uh, Walking around in, in the real world, uh, the film clip is awesome. I know, yeah, yeah. The guy's hilarious, and you wonder, you, you do wonder how how well he sells because of that too. Because I'd imagine he does quite well by it. Um, okay. The other thing I noticed, Dark, I, uh, I had the arrow uh, loaded up yesterday, and, and the tiller works for the arrow, but I don't know if that's accurate. Um. Yes. Yes, and no. Um, I believe some versions of the arrow actually have a tiller. A tiller it does have a tiller. Yeah, okay. Well, this is the this is the arrow four. So I mean, by rights, if any any of them are going to have it, it'll be this one. Yeah. I mean, we could always do this in the new um, Spirit Ninja. In the Ninja. Yes, uh, Indie Builds has been working with another company to develop the B2. Ooh, okay. Um, I, I mentioned before the stream, I'm also really looking forward to... Um, uh, I can't remember what studio's doing it, but they're doing, uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator, they're doing the, the Beach Duke, uh, which is the B60, which is uh, a twin, very powerful twin. Um, there was a, a absolutely brilliant one for uh, FSX years ago, uh, but that studio unfortunately is uh, since full uh, packed it in basically. Um, so it'd be great to see the Duke back because I really miss that airplane. It was one of my absolute favorite airplanes to fly in the FSX. Yeah, the Beach Duke could be uh, very nice if that does come out. Yeah, <clears throat> I haven't put a date on it, but I suspect, I, my, my feeling is it's probably like a 2024 release, I would think. So anyway, I'll go sit up on the runway if everyone wants to form up on me, and we, we can take off together. Nighthawk's flying something a bit more substantial than me. <laughs> oh, he's flying the caravan, okay. Uh, J Hog's rolling out, so I'll let you guys get uh, ready on the runway, and then we'll uh, we'll take off. We love a good old caravan. We do, we do. <laughs> you know, we can't fly it just get Ness or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big Jackal says, anyway, mate, I've got to get sleep early. Start for me tomorrow. Have a good flight, mate, and I'll be watching the replay tomorrow. Dave, uh, thank you so much. Uh, always great to see you, mate, and uh, have a have a fantastic sleep. And um, are you streaming tomorrow, Dave, at all? Uh, because if you are, I'll, I'll try and uh, check you out. And actually, depending on what you're doing, I might uh, try and join you tomorrow too, because I don't have a lot a lot of. Uh, now I've got Monday off. Uh, and Callum's just dropped in. He says morning weather looks good. Yeah, we we kind of faked it because the real weather, Callum, is uh, like this. <laughs> so. Um, which wasn't going to give us much in the way of scenery. Um, so yeah, it's, we've decided to go with clear skies today. But, um, uh, and Big Jackal says, yeah, I'm doing a stream sometime tomorrow. Perfect. I will, I will definitely be on there, mate. And, uh, if you're doing a, a flight sim, I'll try and join you as well. Uh, maybe join you on Vox too, if you want me along. It's up to you. So anyway, okay. It looks like we're all ready to go. So I'm going to set uh, one notch of flaps there. I 
and try and get used to flying a small plane again. It's been a while. Seventy knots. Just pull that nose back a bit. <laughs> Positive rate, gear up. Perfect timing on that dart. <laughs> yeah, perfect timing on that. I didn't think that happened. Okay, got a bit of altitude. We can raise the flaps now. Just trim that out a little bit. See Jay Hog and Knight. Nighthawk slowly getting airborne there. Can bring down the props a bit. Whoop. Don't crash the plane well. Look at that. Love the scenery here. Amazing. I know, I know we're doing this on, uh, later on in the day, but if you do it in the morning when the sun just rose over the, the, the mountains, oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, I'm gonna think. I'll switch that over to heading mode on. Uh, it's on nav. I think we'll lock our altitude there as well because we're not flying over any mountains. No, no, no flat over mountain flying today. Um, recommended altitude is about 1500 to 2500. Yeah, that's that's what I got. I think I got about uh, 1700. Keep us nice and close to the terrain. Take it all in. Jayhawk doing a nice close swoop in. It's nice to see Jayhawk back in the in the arrow as well. We gotta we we definitely gotta dedicate uh, some more plans to the uh, to the old boys. Not not Jayhawk the old boy, but the the, <laughs> the the Piper Arrow and the Warrior. Oh yeah, there's um, I think there's a, there's a few coming up shortly. Um, we've got some nice plans coming in for um, some GA aircraft. Perfect. Oh, uh, looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, Jayhawk says, "Oi." <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't quite mean it. It didn't come out the way I meant it. Jayhawk, look at this. Absolutely stunning. Time to brush up on those formation skills, Jayhawk. He's using his fly motor to fly it. <laughs> <laughs> So I can see some settlements down there. Oh, well, look at that. Mr. Christian has joined. Oh, Christian! <laughs> Captain Flymo. <laughs> Hello. Who have we got I on with us? J Hog! Yeah, I can hear you. How are you doing, mate? Right, I'm going to have to bring. Since Jay Hogg's on uh, dark, if you can try and boost your mic a little bit. Yeah, I can try. Okay. It's just like what you see right now, much better than right now. Yeah, no worries. Look at that, that's amazing, absolutely stunning. Oh, to be a pilot in this area of the world. Dude. To know, uh, to see how many settlements actually is on in the islands, it's unbelievable to think how many people actually live there. Yeah, and I mean, you think back in the day, the only way to, that they were able to cross between the islands was basically some sort of canoe, wasn't it? That's, that's, that was the only way they could uh, see each other. That's pretty astounding. Imagine they do probably still use some uh, boats on, on a regular basis nowadays. 
there's actually um, there's actually a, a boat, uh, boat service between the islands. Yeah, with, you, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then you've got a Ooh. ferry service as well. I'm going way off course here. Why is that? Do do because I'm not in nav mode. That's why. And it won't let me switch to nav mode. Why not? Oh, that's weird. Uh, okay. I'm confused. That's a new issue. You might want to turn your heading off. <laughs> well, I turn. Yeah, but you need that for the nav. I'll I'll see what happens. I don't know if it. Uh, very strange. You might have to be in an inbound heading. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good point. I've never seen that behavior before, so there was a recent update. Um, you, yeah, that, that could be it, Kev, uh, yeah. So there was an update, I, I just put that update in, so maybe this is something that's kind of been added. Anyway, we'll, we'll kind of we'll alight to the uh, flight plan slowly, so we're not uh, spending too much time deviating. Well, this flight's only about an hour and twenty minutes max, so yeah. So yeah, we got time to burn. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. If that's actually just that, I wonder if in the real airplane, if it would actually do that though, where you, the, the switch would flip back. Everyone's falling a little bit behind, so I'm just going to drop the throttle a little bit. Bring it down to 30 inches. Maybe could find that course just a little bit quicker. Um, Kevin says, interesting, I lost my access to the arrow ages ago and lost track of the updates for it, so I'm going to have to buy it on the inside. Some store of the flight again. All oh, right, okay. Um, it, I'm surprised. You, like, are you still? If you have you bought it in the past, Kevin? Though, but you should still be able to go on to log into the f website, should you not? Uh, the other thing, you can email support as well. They're usually pretty good in helping you out that way. Let's see if we can get this to uh, bind to the, uh, the nav course. Nighthawk still pacing us in the uh, caravan. So Dark, I, I mean anything uh, exciting in the flight sim world for you? I haven't really seen anything, but I've not been looking. East Midlands. East Midlands. What, airport. Yes. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah. Out. Hmm. That's. That was, actually, that was absolutely that lovely. Who makes that one? Uh, that is by. Now you're asking me. Forgot. Pirigi. That's it. Pirigi. Oh, okay. Yeah. Be worth checking that one out. Uh, Kevin says I was in touch with support. They couldn't do anything for me. They refunded the value in points. But it's their installer that caused the issue. All right, interesting. I I, I really think, and I've said this as much to uh, uh, to Martin at Just Flight before. They really need to think about getting the, an installer uh, similar to uh, what Orbix has. But there's another one as well um, that I've seen that actually supports a whole bunch of studios. Uh, but they could do with like that. You know, it's nice to have a client. Um, just to uh, just to kind of manage everything nicely. I know Aerosoft has had some disastrous uh, issues with license uh, license things and whatnot. Um, oh, that's switched to nav automatically now. Look at that. Contrail. Contrail is one of the better ones because it has multiple. Contrail. Support. That's it. Yeah. Contrail is really slick. So that 
so I had what the, what happened there, Dark, is I had it on heading mode, and then as soon as it came on course, it switched to nav automatically. That's an interesting. That's Very interesting. cool. Thanks, thanks for that call out, Kev. Um, I probably would have stumbled onto it eventually, but uh, you, when, as soon as you mentioned it, it kind of got me thinking about the functionality. That is really neat. That means. That means potentially now that this has accurate uh, uh, VOR tracking now, because when um, when you're picking up a VOR, if you're not on the VOR track, it, it, in theory, when you it, it shouldn't actually align to it until it's actually on the on the beam. So that means that the the airplane will probably track uh, VORs more accurately as well, which is really cool. Um, no worries, the old aircraft all or. Air, all old aircraft work the same way, yeah. Um, and Kevin says, I can see why they use that one, seeing as it protects the product, but it's far too clunky and dated. It is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it just like such a fantastic studio. I think the uh, it just would make it a little bit better. I mean, they are a publisher as well, so it would really, you know, for all the third-party products that they sell, I, I think it's worthwhile for them to invest in that. Um, but I'm sure it'll happen at some point. <laughs> but it looks like everyone's pretty close behind me. Good. Yep, there's Jayhawk, Nahawk. Falling close. Perfect. Nahawk's uh, gaining on me now. Huh? So just in case you guys are wondering, I'm currently going about 130 knots. Turn that fuel pump off. And we're coming up to our first island, so Dark, do you want to talk us through our first little uh, island here that we're coming around to? Um, if I can pronounce the name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know where we are now. No, I lost it. I'm bringing up your... Is it uh, Riatia? I think it's Riatia, yes. Uh, it's one of the second largest islands after Tahiti. Yeah. Got it up here, uh, so I can bring up while the... While they regard uh, as the centre. Uh, largest of society islands, you write, um, in French Polynesia. Widely regarded as the centre, yeah. Yep, uh, discovered... Oh, it was discovered by James Cook. Ooh, yeah. Um, didn't originally contain animals of any kind, well, mammals anyway. Uh, so the Polynesians brought uh, dogs, pigs, chickens, and the Pacific rat. <laughs> yeah, of course. Rats always find a way. Um, Europeans brought goats, cows, sheep, and horses. Oh, very cool. Um, it's got a very nice uh, reef, sea reef around it. Let's take a closer look. And I think, um, was this the one there was a little airport at the top of it, wasn't there? So we might, might make a go for that. Uh, just pull my little nav out here. Yeah, there is. It's on the on the northern bit of the island there. So we'll wait until we get that. Interesting choice of music. I got I got the whole thing just playing random at the moment. So I didn't get any particular theme for French Polynesia because I really didn't know what kind of music to get. So I'm just kind of French. playing a, a mixture of everything. French. Just get French. French. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the trivia. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So, don't give up the day job, Doc. There no, you go. <laughs> Christian says. Christian says coconut music. <laughs> What's coconut oh. music? <laughs> it's like you're just banging on coconuts. Oh, the, the Hawaiian, like the Hawaiian music, the little drums. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, steel drums, yeah. 
I suppose maybe Caribbean. I wouldn't say Caribbean music would be accurate to this area, but it's funny because I was I have the African theme and like some of the music in the African theme does kind of fit this area, but it, it's I kind of I'm misappropriating uh, cultural music just to try and adapt it to the scenery. Look at the mountains, though, absolutely stunning. Well, apparently Bora Bora, you um, if anything would probably use like oceanic tr traditional music okay wow look at that it's stunning um what about yourself j hog how is life finding you sir uh not too bad young man just uh Ooh, young man i like <laughs> I need to put up with Mr. Burroughs' antics, and I'm oh, in the process of revamping my room. Revamping your room? Yep. Total decorate, moving the screens onto the wall, having a custom desk built by Relic. Oh, that sounds lovely. That sounds so, lovely. So you're, you're man-caving it, then? That's what I would I say. I am that, yeah. I'm going to put a spy hole in the bedroom door and have a lock on so cabin crew can't get in. <laughs> I, uh, I I used to I knew this guy who had um, cockpit set up, so he he built like a home built cockpit, and his wife and him had an agreement that he used to wear the com heb set obviously for Vatsim and things like that. But if she wanted to get a hold of him, she actually had to page him <laughs> from a, from another. Uh, he'd set up a, a like a com, like a a com panel in the kitchen. And she hit a button; it would actually come through to his uh, to his headphones and his circuit. He would like he, as though she was paging him in the airplane. It was hilarious. That sounds a good idea. <laughs> uh, Nick's there. He says fly more mounted on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Hello, Mr. Burroughs. Hello, Nick. How are you? Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> All right. We should be coming up to a procedure turn at some point here. Yeah. Here, I can hear an airplane. Sounds like you're close. Oh, Jayhawk, you're right in there. Perfect. Look at that. Uh, love being back in the Scott, Scott Leaf livery as well. It's one of my favorites. And very shortly, the airplane should be uh, taking a turn towards the north. There it goes. And uh, once we get to the top of that island, guys, there's a little airport, so I think what we'll do is we'll try, uh, I think we got tons of time, so I think we'll just do a quick landing and a regroup. <clears throat> I'm going to get a glass of water as well, and hopefully I'll, I'll get a, a bit of footage. If Jayhawk and Nighthawk, if you want to hang back a little bit, I'll try and get you on the drone camera as well. taking the scenery guys <clears throat> so I'm very interested in your man cave j hog you'll have to send uh, post some pictures on discord for us yeah well I'm starting to strip the PC down probably the middle of this week and then it's a case of carpets up new paintwork and then relics gonna come over and build the desk he's got plans he's doing very nice um, he's making it so that my throttles and the stick pull out from inside the desk pull out to the Ooh. side of me either side of the chair Ooh, that sounds fancy so uh and then when he's done that he's got another one to build for a mr fury <laughs> very good i mean I, I just wish i had the uh, what i don't have at the moment is my own dedicated room uh i used to but then children came along <laughs> so um yeah but yeah i'd love to do something like that you know, mine's only small it's like about a 10 foot square room if that yeah. I'm trying to get into the next room where the wife's got the office, but it's never going to happen. <laughs> I did well to get rid of the tumble dryer out of here, never mind anything else. <laughs> Fair enough. Where'd the tumble dryer go then? Garage. Ah, right. I wonder where, where it should have gone in originally. <laughs> what he did was he replaced the tumble dryer with a lawnmower. Well, what I'm thinking of doing is part getting it packaged up and having it dispatched down to uh, Nick. 
What, the tumble dryer? Yeah, I think he could do with a tumble dryer. Oh, right, okay. I've got many, many sophisticated ways of hanging laundry, so... Um, and the kids oh. kids spend enough money on bloody electricity as it is, the last thing you need is a tumble dryer. Yeah, well, after what he did to me this week, with the uh, partially scented darts for me... <laughs> don't, don't, send him, don't send him a tumble dryer, just send him some circuit breakers for his wipers. Aye, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> circuit breaker. I'm, I'm just keeping an eye out for resorts here, Dark. Is there any, any nearby? Uh, there's not many, to be honest, around here. It's, you're looking about way from Waypoint 9 is where all Waypoint the resorts start. Noted. Okay. But there should be an airport when they're around here. Maybe <laughs> you can find it. Yeah, there's, uh, <clears throat> there's one on the northern tip of the island, so I'm just keeping an eye out for that. And we'll do, uh, we'll just do a mid, uh, mid-flight stopover. Get some, get something to drink. Well, to, to, be, to be honest with you, when, when doing this, uh, routing, there's not much information in regards to the local settlements. It's more like your resorts and your bigger islands and stuff mm -hmm. like that, so... Yep. When doing this, I thought, you know, instead of doing like airports and aircraft, we'll do a change and just taking the sights of some islands using flight sim. Yeah. You can definitely see some <clears throat> settlements down there. They, they look more like, uh, I would say, villages or. The village people singing YMCA. <laughs> that's it, that's exactly what I saw. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like there could be hotels down there actually. What I would like to see, Orbix just like no <laughs> um the mesh for Bora Bora and the Polynesians. Because I think the default buildings just don't make you know, don't fit in with the natural look of the island behind it. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, some enhanced scenery around here would be really, really neat. Just stunning. Very cool. Okay, let's keep an eye out for that airport. So it should be just coming off to our right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go off piste just a little bit. see if we can locate that airport and we'll do a quick landing. I think it runs uh, west-east. Oh, I think I see it. I see it. off some speed. Look at that. Drop our gear. Nighthawk says there's quite a bit of freeware for French Polynesia, including the landscape fixes. Oh, that's a good thing. It might be worth uh, coming back here then, see if we can find some, some nice scenery for it. Flops. Let's see how we get on. First, first landing on stream in a Piper in months. Fast on the approach, try and bleed off a bit more speed. A little bit of trim. Looks looking a bit better. Just 
to kiss. Spin it too fast. All right, let's see if we can get the rest of the guys coming in here. I'll just park up on the end. Nighthawk looks like he's closest. Here he comes. Uh, NTTB, yeah, I believe so, Beluga, yeah. Much more stable approach than mine, I think. Well done, Nighthawk. Perfect landing. Where Swiss VFR would say, perfect landing! And it looks like G-Hawk's lining up now as well. Uh, Sids, I missed you. Hi, Willie. How are you? Doing well, Sids. I hope you're doing okay, mate. Great, great to see you. Thanks for uh, joining on. He's coming in low and slow as G Hog. Lovely job, though. Right down the center line. Look at that. Just about. He's holding it in, holding it. Oh, a little bit of weaving bob. Oh, oh, oh. nearly. <laughs> <laughs> nearly. Nearly had to get the mower out. I don't think it was much different than what I did, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, um, I am just going to grab some water, uh, G Hog, and Dark, if you could entertain the troops for about two minutes, and I'll be right back with you. As long as Dark doesn't start singing, we're all right. <laughs> How long is this route, Doc? No, Doc hadn't just left Christian. Doc was seen to the first officer. First officer needed attention, did he? What's he been into? <laughs> um, he's thinking out the aircraft. <laughs> All right, he wants to have a go. Let him have a go with the throttles. Oh no, you know. That's why I need a new desk for you. You know. <laughs> well, you're getting a new desk, but you've just got to wait while mine's finished. <laughs> oh, look who's joined, Mr. Pilot Stud. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, how are you? Yeah, good evening, or morning, whichever. Where's Dan today, is he working? Possibly, I think so. Very quiet without him. <laughs> I think Willie's gone off for a drink. Yeah, he's just gone to. Yeah, I'm actually just back. Just back, guys. Ah, just back. Uh, oh, Pilot Stud, how? Brandon, how are you? Great to hear from you, mate. I haven't, I haven't, heard, I haven't spoken to uh, Brandon in ages. How you doing, mate? Cheerio. How was your, uh, y'all fully re well, it seems like, it. last time I, I, I believe I tried with uh, Brandon was when he was in Texas. For the, uh, the expo. And I, I saw, did you see, did you see Brandon on the panel? Oh yes, yes, I uh, had to, I had to uh, with... the volume, because you couldn't hear him. 
He's with uh, T Tone Murphy as well. It looked like a really, a really fun panel actually. Uh, right, shall we crack on? So I think it will take off the same direction that we uh, landed. Um, let's do a quick fuel check here. Oop, not that. Not that. Now we still got tons of fuel. That's fine. Uh, so I will. back on the runway and we'll backtrack. Oh, I see an airplane, uh, a large airplane coming in. That can only mean one thing. <laughs> Beluga's on, Beluga's on the stream. Oh no, it's Kevin. He must be in a tail dragger, but it looks like he's in a, an A320. <laughs> that, 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 it's very that's entertaining. Ironic. Very ironic, lads. You, you're in Bora Bora and you've got a small salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's Bluga. I see Bluga. Of course, he's uh, Bluga's uh, about to do an approach in a 737 and run me over. I better get off the runway. Oy, there he goes. There's something you don't see every day. <laughs> uh, Bluga, pilot deviation, call tower when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> call tower to copy your phone number. I uh, was on YouTube, you know how you get these kind of ATC conversations. Um, I think it might have been, um, is it 7-4 seven, seven Gear? Uh, I can't remember what his name is. But it, um, it's this this uh, guy, he was flying a Cessna or something, he, 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 he crosses in the Class B airspace. And uh, ATC... Um, comes on and says, you're in your Class B airspace, so you need to leave immediately. And he goes, no. <laughs> like, what? He's, he says, there's there's an inbound flight, you need to leave Class B airspace. He says, no. He says, I requested I, I requested clearance of uh, Class B airspace 15 minutes ago. And she was like, yeah, but you were never granted it. And he's like, I don't care, I'm flying the plane. <laughs> it's like, absolutely astounding. And then right at the end, he says, uh, she calls him out. Says possible deviation. Please, uh, please contact phone number. Are you ready to copy the phone the number? He goes, No, I'm flying the plane. I was like, Oh man. Oh <laughs> yeah. Like, license that. suspended, man. That's it. You're done. <laughs> I, I remember that. Yeah, Kelsey. Yeah, Kelsey got stuck. You got that. You got that. Is that that one? Is that that one? Uh, is it uh, JFK? Where uh, is it? Uh, Delta was supposed to be doing the cabin announcement. And instead, he oh, he, he, he put it onto the, uh, yeah, <laughs> and it, yeah, because all the other air, air, uh, all the other pilots start ripping them apart. Well, <laughs> welcome to New York. <laughs> uh, oh, there's that one uh, where it says uh, Delta uh, Delta doesn't know how to fly. At least my at least Boeing pilots know when to re, re uh, reduce the thrust, and Airbus calls you a retard. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay, so Kevin's actually in a DC-3, but it's not rendering as a DC-3. That's strange. Yeah, that's odd. I do have one. Are you sure? I do. I do have it. But I haven't, unless it's been updated recently and I haven't recompiled it, I'm not sure. It's like Jayhawk's just about ready to go. Yeah, so, I'm fine. Oh. So we'll just have to uh, we'll have to visualize in our mind the uh, the DC three is flying. Uh, Nighthawk says um, Microsoft does that at times using livery you don't have. Ah, yeah, could be. Uh, Bluka says his brakes are stuck on. Oh dear. Okay, I think we're probably ready to go. So I will. Can't remember if my brakes are on or not. No, 
Breaks her off. Take off power. Seventy knots, pull the nose back. Positive rake, you're up. Perfectly timed again, sir. Gary, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Seven hundred feet flaps up. I'll try and get up to about fifteen hundred and then we'll walk in the altitude there. Nicely. So I'm watching this. So we got heading mode. Watch this now. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it does it all by itself. I love it. Very cool. Oh, what a clever little airplane you are. Jayhawk, there's Nighthawk. Lost track of Beluga entirely. Oh, there he is. Where's Kevin going? Oh, he's there. And around we go to the next island. So what's the next island we got, Dark? Taha. Taha. Let's go to our show notes here. So, Taha. Taha. I think is pronounced pronunciation. Yeah. Yeah. It's um. Island. Yeah. Mount Ohiri is on here, so we'll look for that. Uh, also known as the Vanilla Island uh, because it produces pearls. Ooh, of exceptional quality. Awesome. Um, economy essentially on fishing and tourism. Another source of income for locals is the black pearls and abundance of oysters. Very cool. So you'll you'll get um, everybody will be quite virile on uh, Taha 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 Taha. Taha. <laughs> <laughs> that's when they got the idea for the Paris the Caribbean movie. Black Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's like, what is it about? What is it about all those people on that island? Lots of oysters. Lots of raw oysters. It's no wonder. You, no wonder there's so many phallic symbols in uh, Polynesian culture. That's why. Look at that. That's stunning. Just love the beaches down here as well. Yeah, I think that's where the the mesh would come in nicely. You you get the proper building, and you get the you know like like you do with the coral. It's like coral. You can see the coral underneath. But it doesn't really. Oh yeah. Just under here. Wow. I've never really seen that vividly in the sim before. Oh, this is so cool. What a stunning area to fly in.
Oh, this is really neat. Lovely flight plan, Dark. Thank you so much for this. That's a, it's a very scenic flight plan. I'm sure you'll be happy within the next couple of weeks or so. We've got the um, Highlands Highland tour starting. Yeah, going back to Scotland. Yeah, I was looking forward to that actually. Um, and I think it, I, I think we're going to do multi leg in that, isn't it? So uh, ATR ATR flight for that. Yep. So some flights will be ATR. Uh, mm -hmm. Some flights will be probably the C three ten or something equivalent because with the airports you can't land an ATR at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oban in particular. Yes. Um, if you've got Twatter, you can you can fly the Twatter. Yeah, I think um, I think we said we might go for the 310, or I might might even try the Kodiak again um, if it behaves itself. But I'll, I'll probably do a I'll do a practice flight in the Kodiak first. Uh, Lemon Wolf, hey, he says hi, Lemon Wolf. How are you doing? He says uh, just arrived home from the vet. Um, so do do you go to the vet as opposed to a doctor, Lemon Wolf? Is that how it works? <laughs> joke, joke, just joking. Good to see you. Any close airport I could join you? Um, we're kind of on the final leg, but let me just have a look. It's not really much in the way of the airports, but what you could do is you could you could uh, load in at Bora Bora, which is November Tango Tango Bravo, and uh, fly out to meet us, and then uh, you can escort us back to uh, Bora Bora. That would probably be the best way. But if we get enough time, we'll see if we're, because we're only an hour into the stream, so what we'll do is, if we get enough time, we might also fly out to, uh, um, Tupay, Tupay I, Tupay I, Tupay? Yeah, I, uh, I had trouble pronouncing some of these islands. <laughs> uh, and then there's, uh, Maupati. Uh, spawning at Bora Bora, yeah. Yeah, just uh, take off from Bora Bora, intercept us, and then uh, we can fly fly with you. I know I'm just I'm just, I know I'm just I'm, uh, watching the stream and it's a couple of seconds behind me. Just yeah. looking at that view there, you can see the changes of from the islands to the to the ocean. I know, I know. Whew. Well done, Beluga. That was a good flyby. I like that. I just can't get over the colors. Very cool. I can hear an airplane. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I'll be late. Oh, it, sound, it sounds like a, a jet, but I can't. Look at that. I, I've, I've, this is probably the most vivid I've seen the uh, the coral kind of represented in the sim. It's looking really nice, isn't it? Oh, it's something else. I, I, I think I'm thinking when we come, if we if we do come back here, we'll have to take the beaver. We'll have to take a beaver or something. Some a beaver, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. As long as I don't use the GTN 750, because that seems to mess with that airplane no end. Look at uh... Our final fly past before we break off to the north to um, Bora Bora. Look at the tight formation we got today. Uh, so Lemon Wolf is asking, will we fly the B2? 
The B2. Uh, who's doing the B2? What, B2 bomber? Yes, they did a B2 bomber. Oh, right. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to think of a suitable flight plan. Um, So that's our final pass. We'll say goodbye to Taha. -a. And way off in the distance over there somewhere is Bora Bora. You can see it. Wow, look at that. Look at the glisten off the water. It's really cool. No, we're not going to Laui Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> well, Not a chance. I do Innsbruck one. We did do Innsbruck in the past. But no reason we can't do it again. Was uh, I? I got the impression you guys had a bad experience. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we've had a bad week with Lowry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Weather related or just uh, competency related? Uh, it wasn't the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of issues here and there, says Will Lemon Wolf. <laughs> it's ominous. <laughs> oh man. Luke is doing a very impressive job for me formation flight in the 737. That's not easy to do. Uh, Nighthawk says the Spirit Bomber looks good, but it is more fun to fly than simulation. Um, yeah, I mean, we're guessing Innabilts probably would do a decent job on it, um, but you do, there is a lot of um, mixed quality with a lot of the uh, military aircraft that you can get for Flight Simulator at the moment, which is why I've not really invested any money in, in them, because I've not yet seen anything that's that convincing, but the one airplane I am particularly interested in is the uh, Phantom F4. So that's just a, that's one of my favorite all-time military aircraft, so. It's so cool and well, by our, we, sorry, go ahead. Well, if we, if you do want to fly a military flight, we can always fly to Iwo, Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a nice flight going, you know, following some old, uh, like, World War II. That would be, yeah, that would be interesting, yeah. I do agree with that. Um, or even if we, uh, yeah, something like that. Well, we could always go to uh, Edwards uh, Air Force Base and see how many crashes we get. <laughs> uh, Nighthawk says the Lancaster looks really uh, like it'll be really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just wondering if they're going to, if it's just going to be the British version or if they're going to do a, uh, the Canadian variant as well, which I think was the Mark 12. Oh, that's some flying there. Could it actually come back from that? Bloody heck. Jean, uh, Beluga doing unspeakable things in that airliner. And 
get a little bit more coral there. Or just blue water anyway. <laughs> Lemon wolf, mayday, mayday! <laughs> yeah. Just amazing in the middle of that uh, island though. Look at that, the rock formation there. <laughs> wow. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, Nick is immortalized forever. Look at that, that's awesome. This looks like one of those resorts where they have all the uh, little water water huts. Look for the airplane to finish turning. Look at that, that's cool. That's really neat. That looks like a, a fantastic place to have a holiday, actually. Not a place you'd want to be caught in a typhoon, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going, uh, we should be uh, coming around to the work, work waypoint 9 and plus now. Okay. Uh, but this is, this is where you'll start to see all the res political results. I definitely see a resort down there, yeah. Definitely see resort down there. Um, so waypoint waypoint nine, we've got La Tahas Island F Island Resort and Spa. Okay. Look at the moon! Oh my god! So cool. And then we should be coming up to the Four Seasons, the Intercontinental, the Conrad, and the Pearl Beach. All right, so we're going to loop right over top of these. This, this is cool. Look at this. Oh man. I want to go here. <laughs> I want to go here on holiday. Oh, this is so nice. We're not, we're not going to Manchester next year. We're going to Bora Bora. Yeah, why not? Why not? Because some good plane spotting there. Oh, that's so cool. You can just imagine just getting in a float plane and just pulling up to the resort in a float plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know what, I'm thinking again, yeah, I th we definitely got to come back here with a beaver. It's definitely a beaver worthy kind of area to fly about. But just. The detail on that mountain is so amazing. Really, really cool. And just the uh, the colors you get in the water as well. It's just such a, a beautiful area. So this the airport we're going to was used actually as in, the, in World War II as Operation Bobcat. Okay. Um, for the U.S. military. Yeah. Uh, even though it's done all combat, uh, closed in 1946, and then it was enlarged to accommodate uh, airlines or aircraft, and it was oh, the only air international airport for the island until the 1960s. Wow, that's cool. Um, Bora Bora was formed by the volcano, which is now surrounded by a lagoon and a fringing yep. reef. The the summit is 2,169 feet high. Wow, that's impressive. The lagoon is abundant with fish, and and they are bred for their breadth and beauty. Uh, the reef varies in colour with depth, so dark indigo when it's deep, um, and then it's got shades of blue, pastel blue, and green. Holy moly! Look at this. And the corals are close to the surface, full of fauna, and they provide a colour of egg yolk, red, blue, and purple. This is so amazing. 
I'm so I'm, just gonna, I'm just speechless. I've just gone over the top of that mountain and the detail is unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I could see it when I was flying past a little bit. Are you, are you sure you should be flying over mountains, Jet Jayhawk, with your well, uh, position? <laughs> as long as we're not going into Lava, we're fine. Beluga says my passengers are screaming, very safe flight. <laughs> Anyhow, Mr. Fury, I've landed twice this week at Lowy. It weren't pretty, but I landed. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it right air style. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure one of our past streams, I'm, I'd be going back a year, Dark. But I, um, I botched the, it was an r and approach, which I botched, but I ended up coming down during, uh, doing a loop a turn in the valley and came in from the other direction. I think it was reasonably all right. I'm gonna have to go yeah. back and look at it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll have to revisit Lawi at some point. Yeah, we do. Yeah, because yeah, we don't. No. Never done. Well, I've never done it in the. Um, I've never done it in the 737. So that might be worthwhile just for that. Uh, we have got one. That might interest you, especially the level one. Uh, we're going to Kaita. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. I'm taking the Airbus for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta lower the uh, the workload. Lower your expectations, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Well, the thing is, because that's not a real airport, I don't even know if there's stars for it in the sim. Yeah, I believe, I believe there is, and I also believe there? Uh, the, yeah, there's the airport as well, that you can get quite a Cool. Yeah, that'll be something else, that. Uh, I just love this. We've got to come back to this location again. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. Boy, oh, I see another guy up there, Maverick2077. We see you, sir. If you're watching the stream, do uh, let us know in the chat. Uh, or is that Lem is that you, Lemon Wolf? Are you Maverick? Or are you one in the back? Okay, you're behind us. Oh no, I see you. Yep. Definitely one of the landmark uh, flights we've done. Look at that. Right, airport. That'll be coming up shortly, will it? Yes, that'll be very shortly. Oh, there's another resort down there. So with, the, with the flight plan, what you're actually going to do is you're going to go fly over the airport, yep. make a left-hand turn, and then go out, circle, and come back into the airport. Okay, so uh, left, left downwind. I don't know who that Maverick is, but it looks like he's smashed into the side of a mountain. <laughs> or a hill. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. This is so beautiful.
like this, please let us know in the Discord, or we'd be more than happy to accommodate Sorry, you. Sorry, I, I had the music a bit loud, Dark. You want to just repeat what you're saying? Yep, yeah, uh, there's the airport, by the way. Um, okay. Yeah, if, if, if the people like the flight, and they want to see more stuff like this, or they want to do a Bora Bora flight again, uh, just let us know in the Discord, and we'll try our best to accommodate you. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah, so, and just uh, it might be useful too if you tag Dark Fury when you're uh, making your suggestions as well, just so he'll pick it up that much quicker. And uh, we have uh, something. Um, I don't know if there would be any point in making making this public somehow or having a, a an abbreviated version for all of the uh, family to see, but uh, we have uh, something uh, in the staff channel. It's called the Flight Bank, don't we? And it kind of talks through a lot of the different areas where we're going to go. People might be interested to see uh, what we've got planned. Yeah, yeah we can show sure works that out. Um, you know, just tag your ideas and we can work, and work through it and involve the community. Absolutely. Because even, even, though, even though there is, there is the main team, it's the community that makes us what we are. Yeah, well, there's no point otherwise, is there? <laughs> well, I'm very high, so I'm going to have to bleed off some speed and kind of swing back on another left downwind. That's just poor planning on my part. Nighthawk's come down, though. Looks like a very rustic runway, this. So did they get uh, large traffic here, then? Must do. Yeah, they, they do, yeah. Um, just quick have a look. It's, it's mainly um, HR seventy two so that come into here. Okay. now of the uh, Bora Bora airport and it's, it's amazing how just looking at the airport in the sim is so identical to the pictures that have been taken of the airport from above. Oh that's cool. So it's basically pretty much right off the satellite imagery then. I think. Sixty five feet per minute. I'll take that. And uh, dodge off the runway as quick as I can to get off uh, <laughs> Kevin's path. <laughs> Cool. It's a very uh, quaint little airport, this, actually. I love the tower. That looks very uh, World War II, that the tower, Dark. Yes, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
I, I did now is some mighty toss. <laughs> <laughs> coming in. That's just a nice, really nice backdrop to an airport. It is, it is, I know. Look at that. That's just a picture and a half. Look at this here, right, right in front of the tower. Look at that. Okay, who's coming in? Lemon Wolf is coming in. Who's left the land? Oh, I've got to come in. Oh, I see you. Yep. He's floating down the runway like I did. <laughs> Almost there. There he is. Nice gentle uh, touchdown. Gentle touchdown. Brilliant. Oh, very cool. <laughs> it just looks like complete serenity here, doesn't it? Look at that. Nighthawk's all parked up. Just wait on you, Jayhawk, then. Yep, just turning around now. Just lining up. I think we would have struggled in uh, live weather today. Yeah, I don't think you'd uh, see much of the scenery, to be honest, in live weather. Yeah, no, true. I think this it was well worth having it. Bright skies. And plus it brings out the colors in the water as well. Because it does, uh, when you have live weather, it does dull down where you have the reefs and things like that, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. And you can see the moon. That's cool. Just noticed that. I don't know if you noticed on uh, landing, but you can see where the old runway ended and the extension starts. Take a look. Mm, can't quite see it. Look where the taxi line is. Halfway down the runway. <laughs> oh right, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, I did notice that. That was a funny spot for uh, for a turnabout. No, that's not your true to life. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> probably useful for uh, some points. Your sh shorter uh, landing performance points. Here it comes the legend in the arrow. It's Jayhog. And he's down. A little bit of drift. Very nice. Looked like a smooth landing though. Okay, um, we got we're 24 minutes past. Do we want to make just a quick jump over to the? Let's see what this was. Um, so we're here. We could maybe uh, fly up just to the, the uh, island to the north. I think it's to Tupai. Just do a nice slow circle around it and then uh, come in on uh, the airport there. How big's that runway? That's only a 3,000 footer as well, so that's a nice little challenge to finish off the stream. Everybody up for that? Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'll do a quick fuel check. Tons of fuel. And we're just going to do this pure VFR, so I won't do anything in the flight plan. 
Uh, Kevin says I'm shutting down. Uh, time to start up again. Okay. <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> right, I'll make, make use of the. Uh, make, make use of that uh, mid runway turnabout. Just fine, they'll give us plenty of runway for takeoff. No, it looks like Jihad just took off. <laughs> oh, gone. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Shuttle round. <laughs> There's Love and Wolf coming up to us anyway. Uh, right. Let me just check something here. Oh, I'm still on the showcase. Um, so we want to pretty much head north, north. West. That's what we want to do. Okay. I see Kevin coming, but I think we'll just uh, shoot off anyway. through the DC-3 shaped like a 320. Positive rate. You're up. Feet flaps up. I think we'll fly a uh, course heading 330, guys. Or 340, let's go 340. Atoll. It's on an atoll. Okay. It, it, it is used to ferry uh, people to and from the main island to uh, for workers in coconut plantations. All right. Interesting. The runway is 2,800 meters with reefs on opposite sides. That is cool. And it's part of the uh, Lee, Leewood Islands, which includes Bora Bora, the French Polynesian Islands, and Hawaiian Islands. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. Everybody uh, settling into a quick formation there. That's quite impressive, actually.
by the way, guys, just uh, if you haven't hit the like for me, it would be helpful. And uh, just to just to make the chat active, since we're talking about military aircraft, everyone put in uh, make mention of your favorite military aircraft of all time. Uh, oh, there's Stu. Hi, Stu. How are you? So for me, I'll, I'll put I'll be the first to say it. Mine's the F4 Phantom. Jayhog says Lancaster. Uh, Lemon Wolf, no, we're not using live weather. <laughs> I guess it was it was too foggy. I'd, I'd go for the Avro or the Spitfire. Uh, Spitfire, yep. Yeah. Good choice. Uh, Kevin says the Vulcan. Oh yeah. Nighthawk, he's with you on that. Dark, he likes Spitfire as well. Coming up to that Autol now, look at that. Now, this one might be a bit lighter on detail, but we'll, we'll see. When you say Spitfire, it's like... Uh, reminds me of Michael Caine in Battle of Britain. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's every time they every time they uh, shot down a German bomber, the, was it, it was always the starboard side engine that started smoking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Stu's got a good one. The SR seventy one Blackbird. Yeah, that's a good choice. Lemonwolf says the short SC seven Skyvan. <laughs> okay. Skyrim. I'm wondering if that's the flying truck. I'm pretty sure that's the flying truck from Australia. Or New I think it's New Zealand, actually. If it's the one I'm thinking of, it's the one that was featured in uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. <laughs> it's not Fortnite, then, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I didn't know, though, is... Um, do you know that they actively use those as uh, amphibious water bombers? Which is kind of neat. So they've actually got them retrofitted to uh, collect water much in the same way as the uh, the CL215 and the 415. Uh, Stu also likes the F14 Tomcat, yeah. That's, a, that's another classic. Nice. See you again, Dark? I I thought someone was working on that because there was a four engine limitation in the sim, but they've actually changed that now. Look at that, that's cool. It's gonna be a short landing. <laughs> the sky van was built in Ireland. Oh. I must be thinking of a different airplane then. There's that, there's that old joke that um, it's about the bagpipes. The, the Irish gave Scot the Scots the bagpipes as a gift, as a joke, but the Scots never caught on. Speed back. Drop the gear. Pops one. And we're about to turn uh, left base or right base.
full flaps. Do a trim. Uh, oh, Stu says the Valkyrie. That's a good choice, too. Yeah, that, that's uh, a lot of people don't know about the Valkyrie, actually. Very weird looking aircraft as well. Very unique. effect. A lot of hang time here. Ooh, that was a bit of thumper. Probably the smallest airport terminal in the world. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good as we're gonna get, I think. Shut the engines off there. Catch the rest of the guys coming in. Oh, just missed Nighthawk coming in, unfortunately. Oh, what a shame. You're too quick, Nighthawk. You're too clever. You got Lemon Wolf, uh, Kevin, and Jayhawk up there. Anybody else? And that Maverick guy's back. He just seems to be sitting in the side of the mountain that he crashed into. Okay. I'm sure. We should probably call the uh, emergency services, but... Uh, yeah, Valkyrie was Mach 3, yeah, it was ridiculously fast. I remember that. I can't remember why they abandoned the idea, but I think it was only experimental at the time. It's never actually... Um... Uh, Stu says, do you have long to go? Uh, no, we're just about done, so as soon as I get... Uh... As soon as we get um, uh, Kevin, Lemon Wolf, and Jayhawk down, that, that'll probably be us for the stream. You still with us, Dark and Jayhawk? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just coming over the top just to have a look at the runway. Yep, yeah, I'll we'll see you. <laughs> Kevin's the first one to come in. Next time, yeah, absolutely, Stu. Hopefully we'll see you again. We, we always love it when you fly with us. Oh, Kevin's right on the... He's doing a much better approach than I did. And he's dropped it. Look at that. Perfect. Now, we know that that's a DC-3. Um, that was a really good landing, Kevin. Well done. Not nearly as much all over the place as I was. Uh, Living Wolf on approach. That was quite an interesting selection of music being played today. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Looking good. Oh, a little bit of hang time. And he's down. Well done. 
Well, all you guys outclassed me on this one, that's for sure. Hey, hey Bubba. How are we doing today? Oh, hey, Bubba. How's it going, mate? Glad to see you. And, uh, oh, Shane's... <laughs> Hi, Shane. How you doing? He says, thanks for the stream. You're just lurking in the background. Oh, that's fine. You can lurk away. I often wonder how many people do that. Uh, Brett's there as well. Good evening, every year. How you doing, Brett? Look at all these Aussies popping in out of nowhere. Come on, Jayhawk. Stick it. Stick it, son. Oh! Oh! oh. I don't know that. And other bugs. Oh! down. Shocking. Well, well, I think you get the gold star for landings today, Jayhawk. That was Yeah, great. well. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't have a little dog in the back. It's <laughs> just <laughs> kind of floating in the air. Bang! Floating in the air. Bang! <laughs> oh, you know, I'm for entertainment value. Well, at, at the very least, you made me look. You made me feel not as bad about my landing as I did before. So it's all right. <laughs> Boom's a daisy. <laughs> That's this bub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Do we have anybody else near? I think that is us. So we'll just. Uh, a nice little group shot there. And um, huge thanks to uh, to both of you guys. Dark, uh, thanks so much. It was so great to have you back on. It's been a long time, mate. And uh, hopefully we'll have an opportunity in the near future as well. Yeah, it's nice to finally be able to catch a stream and join in. Uh, exactly, exactly. And the flight plan was stunning. I mean, guys, if you haven't seen the whole stream, Go back and rewatch. This is an amazing part of the world to fly in, in the simulator. Uh, it's really, really lovely. And uh, don't forget, there is a uh, uh, Darks put a, together a beautiful diary uh, for the flight in the show notes. You can download it. It's a Word document, and uh, just gives you yeah. lots of uh, factoids about the areas that we've flown in through today. Uh, amazing part of the world. Really, really fun and beautiful scenery. So thanks again, Dark. No results to you again. And uh, Jayhawk, great to have you along as well today, sir. A full flight. Yeah, so, I enjoyed it. Cheers, Willie. Some good landings and some enter entertaining, entertaining landings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lemon Wolf says, nice flight. Uh, Lemon Wolf, yeah, great to have you with us today. A uh, big thank you to Nighthawk as well, who was flying with us uh, for a good chunk of it. And Beluga, Beluga, long-term long uh, member of the family who's uh, joined us today, doing uh, the usual stunts in his uh, uh, airliners, which looked really cool. Uh, good to have you. Big shout out to everyone that's just joined near the end as well. Um, a, a big thank you to Shane, uh, Bubba, Brett. Uh, we had um, also Big Jacko uh, joined at the beginning of the spot. It's a little one pound spot just to get me dancing, so that was cool. Uh, Nighthawk says, thanks for the flight. Really enjoyed VFR flying. Yeah, we're going to try and do more of that. Um, uh, Dark has been working on some really lovely flight plans, and so we're going to be going back to Scotland soon as well. Now we might some of those flights will be ATR, um, but we should still get quite a bit of scenery. But we'll definitely look at uh, some doing some more GA VFR flights in some beautiful areas of the world. Um, but uh, at any rate, have a great day, Dark. I hope you enjoy the rest of the weekend. Oh yes, yes, you too, Willie. And uh, Jayhog, all the best to you, and have a great weekend, mate. Yeah, same to you, Willie. Dark, catch you later, guys. Bye. Yeah. Sure. And bring that music down. And that is a big goodbye for me. Have a fantastic weekend, folks. Thanks you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and we'll see you next week on Sunday. All the best.